This is the DLE 35RA. I've changed it to an APC 18 by 12 racing prop. I've already run it once. This is my benchmark prop on my OSGT 33 with a tuned pipe. I was able to get it to about 8300 to 8400 RPMs, a YSDZ 185. We'll take it to over 8,000 RPMs. With this engine, I uh, only saw about 7,600 RPMs, but I didn't play with tuning it. It may actually need a little bit more gas. Um, I don't have time to tune it today. I'm just gonna get a quick run on it and we'll let you see what it does. We're on choke and no power. Pull the throttle down, turn off the choke, turn on the power, flip the kill switch. I'm opening the throttle a little because it seemed like it was starving for fuel. Found out while it was rolling, now the throttle arm is loose. No data. RPM 
The throttle came loose and I had never tightened it down or put any thread locker on it, so that's a lesson in making sure that you tighten down factory settings. After the linkage came loose, um, <clears throat> after the linkage came loose, I had to reset the endpoints, and I lost my tuning. Uh, it was only getting to 7,400 to 7,500, which is down quite a bit from the GT33 with a tune pipe, but. I never ran this prop on the GT33 uh, with the stock muffler, so I don't know how it actually compares to it. Uh, I have multiples of these props set up for multiple engines, so I'll be doing some more testing. The engine's running fine, it should do well in the P51 Mustang GS. With this prop, or I can start out with a wood 18 by 10 could possibly go to a uh, 20 by 10 or but the engine's doing well it's running reliably as long as the parts stay together and it's my fault for not putting thread locker on the throttle arm thanks for watching and stay tuned for more with the DLE 35 RA and more to come with the DA 60 twin and then uh, DLE 55